Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I would like to show off my Steelbook collection and I would like to give shout outs to five YouTubers who I really enjoy watching and who I feel deserve more subscribers. But before I do that, I would like to take a moment to tip one back for all of you fathers out there who are celebrating Father's Day. I'm going to take a sip for you guys right now. Salute. Ah, that's good. This is a Sam Adams Summer Ale. And I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a Guinness guy myself, but this was brought over by my brother today and we had a celebration at my dad's house. I got to bring some of these home and this is the Sam Adams Summer Ale, which is not too bad. Um, I'm also going to give a salute to those of you who are not fathers. And this this one's for you guys. I don't think you have to be a, a father to uh, be celebrated so but that's for for everybody out there who um, is a father or not so uh, I want to start out with giving a shout out to one of my best buddies on here and his name is given up 96 Jordan and I'm gonna just kind of give you guys a little overview of his channel and I strongly recommend giving him a sub he's a very nice guy probably one of my best buddies on here um, and he does a lot of he does unboxing videos and he does reviews and he's just a very very nice guy very knowledgeable he's a horror fan but he likes more than just horror I mean he's knowledge, knowledgeable about just about every genre out there so um, go ahead give him a sub make a new friend that is Jordan giving up 96 I will, I will leave a link below Next up is Lylesburg, <clears throat> and he's fairly new to the scene, but he came out with both guns blazing, and this guy is just making phenomenal videos. And it's not going to be very long before he has a few hundred subscribers, but you could go ahead and get in on the ground level and uh, subscribe to him right now and join up and make a good friend. This guy's making fantastic videos. And I think he's only been doing this about a month or two, maybe, and he's, he's making videos you know like he's been doing this for years and he's another guy who does um, unboxings he does reviews and he does I think he even has a couple out and abouts if I'm not mistaken just a very knowledgeable guy very friendly guy every time I comment on his videos or ask him a question he always responds every time so I mean I really appreciate that too and that is Lylesburg I I don't think we're on a first name basis yet I th think his name is Chris but um, and I only got that from uh, Faligar 517 I think those guys are buddies. So, But very cool guy. Lylesburg711. I will leave his link below. And next guy here is Doc the Metal Freak. And let me see here. Look at his videos. This guy is very comical. He's got a very dry sense of humor and he's hilarious. He's a big wrestling fan. And he also does Doc's Schlock, which... He reviews terrible movies, and and it's very comical, and I, I enjoy, you know, I, I started watching him. I, I've been subscribed to him for, I, I'd say, about three weeks now, and I really enjoy his content. And I'm even going back and checking out some of his uh, his archived videos because I, I enjoy some of his Doc schlock. You guys will get a kick out of that, and give Doc a, a sub. And his name is Sean, and um, you will not regret it. He's a great guy. He'll sub you back probably. I'm not sure if he's a sub for sub. But you will get a lot of entertainment out of his channel and uh, make a new friend. That is uh, Doc the Metal Freak. And number four, and these are in no particular order, by the way. I just This is just the way they came up. This is my man room stuff, and this is one of my Canadian buddies. And his name is also Todd, so right there from the beginning, you can tell he's already a great guy. I mean, just with the name Todd alone, you might as well subscribe to him. But not, not only that, he's... Uh, a big fan of music and movies and he does a lot of retro style stuff as far as like uh, LPs and um, you know he has cassette tape collection he has vinyl records he has VHS tapes and he has DVDs and he, he reviews stuff very thoroughly and he's very enjoyable he's a very fun guy to watch and I recommend um, giving Todd a sub this is my man room stuff and make a new friend <clears throat> very good guy and number five, last but not least, is 
a newer friend of mine. His name is Gabe, and he's best friends with Aaron Saldana, who I shouted out yesterday. And you can see that these guys do some collaborations together. There's a video with Aaron and Gabe right there. And another really good kid. He's I wouldn't even consider him a kid. He's a young man, and these guys are very intelligent kids and and um you know it gives me hope for the younger generation because you know these guys just they have it all together they, they have uh you know they can tell you can tell they have a bright future and these guys are, are very intelligent he does gabe does a lot of um overviews he'll do like uh, movie reviews and he just recently if you can see this video right here he recently achieved 50 subscribers but he deserves way more than that so I'm hoping you guys will at least take a moment and go check out his videos and give him a sub. So those are the five guys that I recommend for today. And I'm going to close my laptop here for a minute. I'm going to kind of go through some of my steel books with you guys. And I have quite a bit to go over, so I don't know if this is all going to be in one video. <clears throat> but this is Disney's The Lion King Diamond Edition from 2011. And this is just the steelbook case. I do have the diamond edition in a slip box, or, or a Blu-ray edition with a slip cover, rather. This is just the uh, diamond edition tin that you can get at Best Buy. I think I got this, um, yeah, I think, like I said, in 2011. So I got this about four years ago. Next up is Shaun of the Dead. And these steelbooks that I'm showing you right now are not going to include any of my Arrow Video Steel books. I have had those in a separate video, which you can go back in my archive videos and check that out. And it's not going to include any of my German Steel Book editions because I did have another video for those as well. I think I will do an update on those as um, as I get further editions. But for now, I'm just going to show you my uh, my regular Steel Book collection, which all these are from uh, the U.S. Region One. That's Shaun of the Dead. And these are in no particular order either. So, And here is Kill Bill Volume 1. This is a really nice steel book and it's a great movie. I enjoy the Kill Bill movies. I would like to see, this is an R-rated. I wonder if there's an unrated version because that was a pretty gory movie. Not sure if there was ever an unrated version that was released. If, if there was, I'd like to grab it. Here's Jet Li and Hero, Quentin Tarantino movie. And I'm just going to kind of breeze through these guys. So if, um, if there's anything that you would like to see more of, just let me know in a comment below and I'll go through and give you a better um, description of the film and show you a little bit more about the Steelbook. This is a UK edition right here. From I got this one from Zavi. This is another Shaun of the Dead edition. And I love the landscape. I've said that before in other videos, but I really do enjoy the the landscape editions. It's a great movie too, by the way, Shaun of the Dead. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Here's a Rob Zombie film, The Lords of Salem. Witchcraft type film. Really enjoyed it. I I am a big fan of Rob Zombie, and this is the Anchor Bay edition. I know Rob Zombie gets a lot of hate, and I don't understand why. I think he makes fantastic movies. I think he's a great musician and a great director. I think he has a really good vision. This one is Eden Lake. This is another UK edition. And this is a very good film. It's got a very depressing theme to it. Not much on the inside. A little bit of disc art, but nothing else. And I really strongly recommend picking this one up. This one is pretty cheap to get to. It's uh, inexpensive. You could probably get this for... I'd say probably around 15 bucks, which is good for a Blu-ray steelbook. From the UK anyway. I mean, there's Blu-ray steelbooks at Best Buy for 10 bucks, but I've never seen Eden Lake in a steelbook other than from the UK. Here's World War Z, and I really enjoyed this movie. I know it got some hate because of the CGI, but I, I thought the CGI in this film was outstanding. I thought it was really good. I thought this was a really good movie. This one does have a little bit of inside art. You can see that's a iconic scene from the film. And that is World War Z. I'd probably give this one about an 8 out of 10. Very solid film. 
Up next is a metal pack. I got this at Walmart. This one is called Saving Private Ryan. This is a very good movie. Everybody's seen this film before. Don't have to say too much about that one. And up next is the limited edition Scarface starring Al Pacino. Very good gangster film, gangster style film. Cubanos. You got the stuff, man. And up next we have a still book that was autographed by Matt Farnsworth, and he was the, the director of this film, The Orphan Killer. It was signed by three different people. This was the lead female, I can't remember her name, Diane, Diane Foster. And then you have T.O.K., The Orphan Killer. Good movie, great edition. One of the best steel books you'll ever see, in my opinion. Next we have the Basket Case Trilogy, and this is a UK release. And this is from Second Sight, everybody knows that. This was available for a long time and it was very easy to get at a reasonable price, but recently I believe it went out of print. It's starting to fetch a little bit more money, so I would go and grab this if you can. If you're interested in this film, go pick it up now, otherwise it's only going to go up in price. These films are decent, they're not great, but um, they're good cheesy fun. I would recommend it. And next I have a, this is a German import. I wasn't going to include, but I forgot I did put this in the, in the box with my steel book. So I think you guys have seen this before in a previous video of mine, but you have some art cards here. I'm not gonna pull those out. Pretty cool disc art. And then there's just some kind of drawings on the back. You get this on the back. This is a good film, but it's in, I believe this is in Dutch. And it does have English subtitles. But I believe there is an English version with uh, English dubbing, if you guys are interested in that. Up next we have The Lost Boys. A little bit overrated in my opinion, but it is a good, good vampire film. I see people talk about this like it's a 10 out of 10, and I disagree, but it's a good fun film. I'd probably give this about a six and a half, seven. That's me. Everybody's different. Next we have another Al Pacino Scarface limited edition. And I'm probably going to be giving one of these away in a, in a contest, but I'm not probably not going to have a contest till I reach 500. So that's a long ways away. But both of these are sealed. And that would probably be one gift. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet for 500 but Up next we have From Dusk Till Dawn, and I think this blows the Lost Boys away. That's my opinion. This is a Future Shop steelbook, which everybody knows Future Shop is owned by Best Buy. And Future Shop was the Canadian version of Best Buy, and they just did not make it up there. I don't know if the Canadians weren't... Um, supporting the stores or whatever but they weren't making enough money so they had to close close down and um, everything that was an exclusive at future shop was also an exclusive at best buy because best buy was the owner so i think a little bit of some people out there get a little bit of um get mistaken about that you know they think it's a uh, future shop shop exclusive but it's also best buy exclusive and it's all owned by best buy so whatever best buy had exclusively was also a future shop. I know it's a little bit confusing, but up next is King Kong, and this is the remake. Peter Jackson. Very good film. Not as good as the original, but very good. And up next we have Guardians of the Galaxy, and this was hard for me to get. I had to search high and low for this. This is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Very good film. I do have this a couple different times. I'm going to keep this steelbook sealed. I do have the Blu-ray keep case. But that's where I watched the film from. It took me a while to get that one. I had to keep searching for it. It ended up going on line for ridiculous prices, so I'm glad I got it at regular store price. Up next is Snowpiercer. And I believe I got, this is the Dutch edition, if I'm not mistaken. I ordered this from the Netherlands. Yes. And it is an English language. And this is a very good film. I enjoyed it. 
I would recommend Snowpiercer. Up next, we have the original A Nightmare on Elm Street, Best Buy exclusive. Everybody knows this film. Probably one of the best horror films ever made. Up next is another version of Shaun of the Dead. This is the comic book style cover. Limited edition exclusive. 15 bucks, which was not bad at all. I think these are out of print now. They may be going for a little bit higher. But I'm pretty sure you can get this for a reasonable price on the secondary markets. Up next is the latest installment from the Godzilla series. Comes with a little feature. You can push the button up there. Good movie. I thought it was pretty decent. I got no complaints about it. And I don't think there's any two discs. You have a Blu-ray and a DVD and I don't think there's anything behind here. A little bit of graphics but not much. Kind of a burning city looking graphic I guess. I think the steelbook is pretty cool though. It's kind of um, it's embossed. It's hard to pick up from the camera I think but this uh, Godzilla's tail is kind of popping off the steelbook there. Up next we have the Born Supremacy comic book style. This came out about two or three years ago. And this, these comic book um, covers, there was about, I don't know, 15 or so approximately. And I tried to grab them all. I think I did end up getting them all. Up next is the Little Mermaid. And this was a Zavi. I think this was a Zavi exclusive. This is a diamond edition. This one's sealed, and this one does have the discs in it. Actually, I think it should, yeah, it's just a one disc. So, that is The Little Mermaid. Up next, we have The Born Identity. Another one of the comic book style covers. Pretty good series. I mean, it's not really a Matt Damon fan, to be honest with you, but the series was pretty decent. Next we have Resident Evil Degeneration, and I love this movie, I love the uh, CGI films that Resident Evil puts out. I don't think there's been a bad one yet, I think there's been two or three so far. This one does have some back art, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out for you guys, see if we can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can kind of make it out, it's kind of just shadowy figures. and. And I strongly recommend grabbing this one. That is Resident Evil Degeneration. And next we have Seven, which I showed you guys the uh, Digi book yesterday. I have the Steel book here. And then I have yet a third edition on DVD. This was a Best Buy exclusive. Here in the US, we don't really get too much inside art, which is a shame. If you're going to go through the effort to come up with a nice edition of the steelbook, why wouldn't you put something on the inside? I don't understand that. Never did. Here's another Second Sight Films. This is The Return of the Living Dead, and this is a really good film. Good edition. Out of print now, going for some pretty good money. This was available for a long time. Nobody seemed to want to grab it. Now that it's out of print, everybody wants it. It's kind of funny that way. Next is an American Werewolf in London. A lot of these I've shown before, I feel like, and uh, I think I did a horror still book collection early on in my video making days, which was only a couple months ago, but there's another landscape style, and I, I really enjoy that. I think it looks really good. Very good movie. Probably my favorite werewolf movie of all time. Here is The Wizard of Oz 3D. And I do like to keep these little J cards. I don't know why. I know some of them, some of you guys throw them away. I like to keep them. Eventually what I'm going to do with all my steel books is I'm going to order more of these little sleeves. And I'm going to put everything inside, including the J card. And then when I pop, when I slide the movie out, let's see if I can kind of show you. When I slide the movie out, the J card will stay inside of the slip. 
I don't know if you guys can kind of picture what I'm talking about. The J card will stay inside the slip, and then the steel book will come in and out, so I won't have to worry. And this this has a little bit of information on the back. I just like to keep that stuff. I don't know if it's OCD or what. I just this is a really good film. Everybody knows what the Wizard of Oz is, and this is another Best Buy exclusive. And this is really a metal pack. I think this is a metal pack. Let me see. Yeah, this is not technically a steel book. It's a metal pack because of the way the hinges are on the spine, but I keep it in with my steel books and iron packs, and I put I keep all that stuff together, so. Very cool inside artwork. See, it doesn't take, it's not that hard to put inside artwork. I don't know why they don't all have inside artwork. It's just an image on, underneath plastic. I mean, how hard can that be, but. And I do have the, let's see here. I do have the digital copy, but I don't know when it, let me see if it says when it expires. It's still good till next summer. So if anybody wants this digital copy, it's yours, if you can make that out. It expires in June of 2016, so a year from now it expires. So you're welcome to have that, you're welcome. Hope somebody uses it. Up next is the Cinderella Diamond Edition. And I'm not going to open it. I do have it in a plastic sleeve. But this was a Best Buy exclusive um, steelbook. And it came empty when you pre-ordered the, the film. But I have since put the discs inside. So this one is not empty. Up next is Disney Pixar's Brave. And this is just the empty collectible case. This is still sealed. And it was a free collectible case. They say free, but you have to pre-order the movie, so you're actually paying for it. It's not free. But this was a very good movie. I thought it was a little bit underrated. I don't think it gets enough praise. I think the Pixar films are spectacular. Here is X-Men Days of Future Past. And this is another, um, they call that a... Uh, Iron pack, not an iron pack, but a, a metal pack. It's not technically a steel book. Steel books have a different type of spine. I'm sure you guys know the difference by now. The difference between a steel book, a metal pack, and an iron pack. There's three different styles of like uh, tin packaging. Here's the Blues Brothers comic book version, theatrical and extended versions. Good film. Here you can see Ray Charles. I really enjoy that movie. It never gets old. Up next we have Green Lantern. Starring Ryan Reynolds. I thought he did a good job as Green Lantern. I know a lot of people shit on that movie, but I thought it was pretty good. Probably one of the best movies ever made right here. This is Goodfellas. I showed you guys the Digibook yesterday. Here is the Steelbook. And then I have the DVD and I have the Blu-ray keep case. And I just need to get the 25th anniversary edition. And my Goodfellas collection will be complete. And I do love gangster films. Here's The Godfather, the original. Marlon Brando, everybody knows this film. Al Pacino, one of the best movies ever made. I don't think it's a 10, but it's a 9.5 for me. Here's The Amazing Spider-Man. I like the way the steelbook looks. thought the movie was good. Probably my favorite superhero is Spider-Man. And Sammy Faligar 517 gifted me the 1967 animated series, which is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection now. Love Spider-Man. And thank you, Sammy, again. Up next, we have First Blood, Sylvester Stallone, limited edition. I like the cover art. It's kind of a like a painted picture of John Rambo. Excellent movie. One of the movies I grew up with. And here is E.T., the collectible steelbook exclusive from Target. And I also have the Digibook. Very fun movie. Brings back a lot of childhood memories for me. Here is Star Trek Into Darkness. I think J.J. Abrams is a genius, and I'm really looking forward to the Star Wars movies. thought he did 
a spectacular, phenomenal job with the Star Trek series, and I think he's going to continue on with Star Wars. I have all kinds of faith in that guy. Here's Stargate. Time travel type movie. I love these type of films. I like sci-fi. Very good film. 7 out of 10 for me, Stargate. Here is Forbidden Planet. This is a... I think this was a Zavi exclusive. No, this was an entertainment store exclusive. I'm sorry. Limited to 4,000 copies. I love this film. I also have the collector's tin that has Robbie the Robot as a little uh, collectible figure. Has some art cards and other stuff. Comes in a thick tin. Really like that film. Glad to own it. Up next is Django Unchained. This was a Target exclusive. I remember going to Target the day this came out, waiting in line before the, star, the store opened up, and there was about, I got there early thinking it was going to be some kind of a mad dash, but there was about 10 people in front of me. And thankfully there was enough copies. We each got one, but it's not that I liked this movie so much. I just thought it was going to be a little more collectible than it was. But And I believe this is still available at Target, and this came out a couple years ago. So that's Django Unchained. Up next is Apocalypse Now, Francis Ford Coppola film, limited edition, Best Buy exclusive, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I think this, I, I know I got it at Best Buy, but I'm not sure if it was an exclusive. Great film. It has two versions of the film. It has the original 1979 and the 2001 remake, so that's a very good addition to get if you like the film and the remake. Up next is Tom Cruise Oblivion, and I think this one was a little bit underrated. I enjoyed the film. And this is a metal pack. It has the, uh, the hinges instead of the spine. Oh. And it has a digital code, and I'm trying to see if there's a expiration date. I do not see one. So if you guys can make that out, try it out, and if it works, it's yours. You're welcome. This is a Walmart exclusive. I kept a little sticker up there. And you get the Blu-ray DVD, and then you have a little bit of background artwork, which looks beautiful. Love it. See, I appreciate the little extra effort that they put into stuff like that. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard to do it. but I'm not a Blu-ray publisher, so I'm just a fan of this stuff. That is Obliv Oblivion. Up next is one of my favorite... Christmas films now over the last few years and I make sure to watch this one every year. This is Elf starring Will Ferrell. Bob Newhart is in here. This one has the Christmas CD. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's a little like a CD single type jewel case tucked away in there and it has the soundtrack from the film. Very good film. Up next we have The Fast and the Furious. Not a big fan of this series at all. And I can't believe they have seven of them now, and uh, I'll just I'll leave it at that. I wanted to collect this one because I wanted to get all the comic book style covers. Excuse me for a second, guys. I'm going to take another sip. Salute. Okay. Up next we have... Cloverfield, and this is a Best Buy exclusive. It's a decent movie. It's I didn't care for it as much as a lot of you guys out here did. I've seen reviews that people rave about this film, and it's a found footage style film, Alien Invasion. And I just, it didn't do a whole lot for me. I thought it was entertaining, and I thought it was okay, but I just didn't get that feeling like, oh my god, this is phenomenal. Up next is a different version of Django. I just showed you the Target exclusive. I got this one at Best Buy. This is just a, a different cover, same film. Same bonus features, everything. It just has a different cover. So, Up next is, this is a UK edition of Lifeboat by Alfred Hitchcock. And this is probably one of Hitchcock's most underrated films. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this film. I absolutely love this film. Everybody should watch this at least once, if not own it in your collection. This is a fantastic film starring uh, Tallulah Bankhead, and she looks outstanding in this picture. She really, she's gorgeous. And there's some pretty funny 
bonus features that talk about her. There's a Tallulah Bankhead right there. And uh, some of the bonus features talk about her. Like uh, she was, I guess she was kind of a tease, you know, and during production, she would frequently not wear panties and she would wear these kind of short slinky dresses. Let me see if I can pick out, see what some of her outfits look like in this booklet here. But she would wear kind of slanky outfits with no panties and I guess some of the days before production she would climb a pole to the top of the, the roof or whatever or to the ceiling rather and all the guys could look up her dress and she knew they were doing it and uh, she's she was a sexy little kitten I mean she was pretty hot nice body and I'm not trying to be a pervert. That's just that's just a fact. I mean, that's what she was doing. She was climbing poles in a little slinky dress so that the guys can look up her dress, and she knew what was happening. And Hitchcock was a womanizer, and there was rumors that uh, the two of them were maybe um, intimate, but uh, I don't want to go into that. I'm just trying to see if they show like a little clip of some of the dresses she was wearing. If you guys haven't seen Lifeboat, I would say seek out this edition. This is the Eureka. Let's see if I can show it to you guys here. This is the Eureka UK edition of Hitchcock's Lifeboat. I would recommend everybody out there who's listening to this to seek out this this particular edition and pick it up. Add it to your collection. This is a beautiful steelbook and a great movie. I love it. I can't say enough good things about Hitchcock's Lifeboat. <clears throat> up next is Terminator Judgment Day. Another limited edition. And they're making another Terminator. It's already made. Terminator Genesis. I'm looking forward to watching that. It's already hitting theaters for uh, sneak peeks and all that stuff. Here's uh, Tom Hanks' Captain Phillips. was based on a true story, which is a very good film. This has kind of unique inside artwork. It just shows like a uh, top view of the ocean. So, you know, that's that's another thing, too. I mean, it's... This isn't anything spectacular, but it's something. I mean, it's better than just a silver case on, on the inside of a steel book. So even that's better than nothing. And I thought this was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. I watched this with the kids. This is a good family movie. And the last one for this video, I'm going to break this up into at least two parts, I think. Otherwise, this is probably going to be an hour and a half video. So this will be the last one for this one. This is Zodiac, the director's cut, based on a uh, true story. Mark Ruffalo plays probably one of the best roles, one of my favorite characters in it, one of any film. It's got he's got to be in the top ten of any film I've ever seen before. And Jake Gyllenhaal played a great part. Robert Downey Jr. played a great part. This movie's very long, but I enjoyed it. It goes by pretty fast when you're watching it. And you have the feature film on disc one, and then you have special features Blu-ray by the way, so they, it's chock full of special features. And this was a Best Buy exclusive, and I strongly recommend, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Very good movie, based on the Zodiac Killer. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for part two. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give me a sub if you haven't, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.